I am Madame Scholti, uh, Associate Professor at the Department of Plant Physiology and Molecular Plant Biology with Wisch Laurent University. And my talk is about a unique plant that can survive the complete loss of the water content of their tissues. Drought is a severe problem in the environment. Since water is essential for the life of all livings, uh, the restriction of water uh, is limiting the biomass accumulation and the life of all living organisms. Plants require water to move the nutrients in their bodies and for the photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a unique mechanism of plants that producing organic material for the biosphere. It is utilizing carbon dioxide and water and the energy of the light and it is converting the carbon dioxide into sugars and organic molecules that the biosphere is utilizing. If water is limiting, then plants are not able to take up carbon dioxide, so the biomass accumulation will be limited. With colleagues from Bulgaria and Hungary, we are studying a unique plant called Orpheus flower, uh, which has a unique mechanism to survive the complete loss of the cellular water content. So the Orpheus flower is able to survive a long dry period in a so-called desiccated stage. So it is an extreme drought tolerant plant. Orpheus flower is named after the Greek hero Orpheus who has returned from the underworld. So this plant can return from the apparent death upon rewatering and by taking up water it is getting green and uh, able to photosynthesize again. Orpheus flower can go into desiccation when drought is appearing in the environment. Uh, it belongs to the so-called resurrection plants. More precisely, it belongs to a small group of resurrection plants which are called chlorophyll retaining resurrection plants. Orpheus flower is retaining the green color of the leaves. That means the photosynthetic apparatus in the leaves are retained and ready to operate when water comes again. Chlorophylls are essential molecules in the leaves that are the crucial components of the photosynthetic machinery. Chlorophylls are absorbing the light and makes the photosynthetic machinery operational. However, chlorophylls can be also dangerous if they are not able to pass the energy of the light to the photosynthetic machinery, they can produce reactive oxygen radicals that can damage the organic molecules uh, in all livings. Uh, reactive oxygen species uh, are inducing damages in the cells. To fight against reactive oxygen radicals, Haberle rhodopensis, the Orpheus flower, is producing a large amount of antioxidative molecules and antioxidative enzymes that are limiting these damages in the cells. During the desiccated period, the chlorophyll molecules are absorbing the energy of light that is not utilized in photosynthesis since in the lack of water, biochemical mechanisms are not operational. To prevent the producing of damages by excited chlorophylls, so-called non-photochemical quenching mechanisms exist in the Orpheus flower that are removing the energy from chlorophyll molecules and protect the photosynthetic machinery in the desiccated leaves. In my research group, we are investigating the Orpheus flower both by invasive and non-invasive techniques. Non-invasive techniques are based on irradiation like visible light irradiation or X-ray irradiation that are delivering information on the operation of the photosynthetic machinery or the composition of elements. Using invasive techniques like uh, polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, we can bring information on the organizing of the photosynthetic machinery, how the photosynthetic machinery changes during the desiccation and uh, the recovery uh, of the Orpheus flower. Altogether, the scientific information that we can obtain on the uh, Orpheus flower can bring us 
very important information how a plant individual can survive uh, the complete desiccation and survive dry periods in the environment.